the next point. We should ensure that whatever we see is clear. That means work is being done and we can see that it is in opposite direction. Good day, learners. Welcome to another segment of marketing. We've been dealing with transportation as a topic. We, we, we are done with the part one and two. We try to look at transportation as conveying a particular product from the manufacturer to the final destination. And we try to look at the importance of transportation why do a marketer need to transport his good? For the purpose of disposing them, for the purpose of making them known to the retailers and consumers, and for the purpose of reaching its final destination. We try to look at major ways of transporting these goods. We look at by one, by rail, two, by air, through water, pipelines, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, as you can name them all. Now, in the last section of part two, we try to look at the bill of landing. And we look at three important words in bill of landing. We look at the fried, we try to talk about the shipment of goods. And we tried, to, and not only the shipment, that is the cargo, the, what is responsible for the transporting of this good from one place to another. Then we try to look at the vessel. We are looking at those that are concerned in the aspect of transacting this transportation mode. Then we try to look at. Uh, the last key words as the destination. That is a place that is expected for the goods to arrive. Now we'll continue in the in part three, where we shall be considering the airway bill or air consignment. Now in, in this airway bill or consignment node, we look at the airway bill is a very important document use whenever goods are sent by air. An airway bill is issued by an airline company, which is a set of 12 copies. It has a set of 12 copies in this consignment note called the airway. However, only three copies are originals. The first is for the carrier, that is the shipper. Then the second for the consignee, that is the recipient, someone who has the authority of the delivering note. Then the third is for the shipper. Then for the shipper is the one who is the carrier of that uh, consignment. Now the, to balance it, they are in nine copies which are retained by the airline company for administrative purposes. This nine is not part of what I have told you for the three copies that need to be taken along with the shipper, the company, and the receiver. Now, it, these nine copies, as I said, it is done for administrative purpose. That is, it corresponds to a BJI of London, but it is only used when goods are sent by air. Now, this BJI of London is only used by air for the product to reach its final destination. Now, without the product being appropriately taken care of, there is no how the product can get to its final destination. Now, we, we are going to look at the key information in an airway bill, which is as follows. We have A, the name of the airline company or carrier must be written 
on the key information of the delivery note, which is the consigning note. Then B, the name and address of the shipper. That is, the shipper can be seen as the beneficiary of whatever will be taken to the particular point of delivery. C, the names of the airports of departure must be taken, must be written on the delivery note. I said the name must be written on the delivery note in order to reach the destination, the flight number, and actual flight day. Only there must be the flight number and the actual date of where this good and when they will arrive and which des destination they will be taken to. The description of goods in general terms, its weight and the freight charge, its declared value. Just as I have said in the key words oh, of transportation and bill of landing and a bill, we look at the freight as a cargo or a container where these goods are being what packaged in. Now, in this description of the keynotes, we look at these goods, we have to weigh them, we have to know how the freight is charged to weigh these goods. When you weigh this good, you can actually determine the price of taking these goods to the final destination. And the last thing that the value of this good must be declared. You know there are goods that you value them according to how they were manufactured by the producer then you need to value the good before transporting them through the air bill. The number of pieces sent. Now, when they are packaged, when they are being packaged, we try to know the number. That is by marking them and giving them a particular number at the point of delivering these products. Now, before now uploading these products, they must follow according to the number on how they were numbered and how it was written inside the delivery note. Then E, evidence, by an authorized signature. Now before you deliver some good, there must be an evidence. And that evidence is showing that yes, this is an authorized product which will be taken from one point to the other or from this state to another state. That the goods have been received by the carrier. Now, when you, are, when you go along with this delivery note on the A bill, there must be a letter of acknowledgement or a, from the recipient acknowledging that this good has been deposited or has reached its final destination through the agent, that is the carrier. And the date of issuance must be written on it properly. The name and address of the consignee, that is the G. The name and the address of the consignee, and also the name and the city of the carrier of its agents. Now, the name and address of the consignee, that is the shipper or the shipment of the good, must accompany the goods that are to be taken to the destination. And the name of the city, which city which uh, particular area in that city that this good will be deposited at. That is, if we are taking this uh, goods from Ghana, which is the largest producer of cocoa down to Nigeria. Now from Ghana, the shipment, there must be something that will accompany it as the air bill. Now on reaching that place, there must be an acknowledgement of such good has been what? taken to its final destination. The status of the freight charges prepaid or payable at the destination. There is, a, there is a certain charge that is being charged for every cargo. 
Now, sometimes we commonly call them containers. Now, when they are being transported through the air or uh, by air through planes, now before they come down to a particular airport where they will be dropped for clearance, now uh, there must be a particular charges paid for this certain product to its final destination after it has been paid for. Now let's look at the function of, of an airway bills as a, which is as follows. One, OA, it is an advice note indicating all the key information stated above. I repeat, it is an advice note indicating all the key information stated above. And what we mean by it is an advice note, it tried to bring a relationship that the shipper and where he's, and the beneficiary will understand there is a particular advice note that he takes along with him on the, on the mode on how he's going to transport this product through the air. And the, there is certain information that is written on it that will serve as a guide to the shipper. B, it is evidence of contract of courage, but it is not negotiable. Why is it not nego negotiable? Now, you see, there are goods that can be transported by air. You know, the best way to transport good and the, that has a better security is through air or through rail. Now, the fastest way that in which you can transport your goods is by air, because you want this good to get to the final destination at a good time. You use aeroplanes to fly your goods. That is what we mean by air. And the bill of landing is an evidence of contract which is sometimes it is not negotiable because it is 50-50. Now, why it is not negotiable? Because the cost of transporting these goods are expensive. But no any businessman that will stand the risk of losing a huge uh, amount of what he has invested in his in his business by true transportation and on no account it cannot be accounted for. Uh, C, it is not document of title, no. A, bill is not a document of title. Now why is it so is because it does not warrant you to have any cause to feel that it is a title that must be honored, but it has to do with what we call agreement. The delivery of good is not dependent upon the presentation of the airway bill, but rather the goods will be delivered to the name of the consignee against proof of identification at the airport of destination. Now, the airport of the destination is not the final place, but there is what we call check and balance. Now, the point of delivering this good, now there are people that are responsible or oh, they are called their agents, or oh, the receivers, that before they clear this good, this good must be checked, cleared, signed, and be taken to its final destination. D, it should be dispatched with other documents, for it, for it shows the depth of dispatch, which is useful for exchange and import control purposes. It should be dispatched with other documents. Yes, there are other documents that must be attached in every whenever an air bill or a consignee note is given to the person dispatching them from one airport to another. There must be a dispatch document. There must be a date in which that these goods must be dispatched, and at which time they are expected to reach a certain destination. It may be used, that is the, the fifth point, or the function, it may be used as a receipt to be signed by the consignee on the delivery of the good. It must be used as a receipt. Now, anything that is used as a receipt shows that they are valid document for air 
transportation through the bill. Now, what we try to look, what we try to, what we are trying to say here is for the, the for the consignee to use all the documents that are backing in in delivering these goods to their final destination. Remember in marketing, transportation is very essential and without transportation, the ability for product to reach their final destination is, is not possible. And that makes the products to be whether it's, it will be delivered or not. Now F, it is also a note of freight charges. It is also a, a bill is also a note. Now one of the function that why it is also a note of freight charges because it is a written and binding document. Now let's look at the last one, that is the parking list and weight note. The parking list and weight note. Now, the parking list and weight notes, we say these two documents are normally combined. The weight note shows the gross weight and net weight of the goods. This must agree with that stated with that stated in other relevant documents, such as the bill of landing. Now, the parking list and the, the weight notes, they must agree in the first one, which is the bill of landing, before these goods are being cleared. Now, if they don't agree, then it is not, it, it is not eligible to be, to be transported to its final destination. That is why we say the two must work together. That is, the weight note must show the gross weight and the net weight of their goods. The key information in parking lists. A, the name and address of the shipper is very important. Name and address of the shipper because it, you, you one must locate who is responsible for delivering the goods to the, its final destination. Generally, it is prepared by the shipper using his letterhead. His letterhead will show that, yes, he is responsible for the shipment. B, the name and address of the consignee. The name and the address of the beneficiary must be uh, inside or on the letterhead of the carrier of this good. Now, the, cons the beneficiary must must acknowledge that he or she has received a delivery note through the shipper. The name of the ship. Now, all ships that are conveying goods from one destination to the other must be named. And why are they named? For easy identification. When the beneficiary wants to clear his good, he, he, the name of the ship is written on, on whatever or the document that is responsible for delivering his good. The port of departure and port of destination. There is what we call the port of, this, of departure and the port of destination. That is the starting point where the goods will be loaded and the point, at the point where these goods will be uploaded. We call them the port of departure and the port of destination. The starting point spot and the ending point spot. Then, the marks and numbers of the packages or cases. As I said in the A bill, there are marks 
that are being what, done whenever these goods are being transported. The number of packages, the number of packages that the carrier is carrying, then a general description of the good. Every good, every product that will be transported must have a, must be described to the, as a particular product to the beneficiary because he has ordered for them and from the company they describe such goods for where it will be taken to. The gross and weight of the good, as, we have, as we, you can agree with me, that these two must work together. That is the total number of goods and the weight of this good must, must be together. Then, the date of issuance and the invoice number. There must be a date of issuance and the invoice number. Then the signature of the shipper or the agent as a verification of all the above information. All the information that are to be carried from the starting point, that is the port, to the, de to the delivering point, that is everything in every document, whether bill of, of landing, a bill, or the, cons the consigning note, there must be every evidence that the signature of the shipper or that of the agent is on need in order to be, for the good to be cleared. With these learners, I would like to tell you we have, uh, we have come to the end of transportation today, having seen or having known what transportation is all about, having discussed the importance of transportation, and having seen the different types of transportation that we can transport our goods from one place to the other, and having tried to look at some of the bills that are involved in transportation and some key areas or key factors that we discuss and with their functions. With this, I can say, until we, until we come next time, we're going to discuss some things that you need to understand more about transportation. Now, before I go, I would like to give you an assignment. It reads, question one, explain receive note in transportation. I repeat, question one, explain receive note in transportation. Two, list five information in a consignment note or delivery note. List five information in a consignment note or delivery note. The last question, explain in brief five functions of delivery notes. Explain in brief five functions of delivery note. With this, I have come to the end of the lesson today until we meet again. But before I go, here is my contact number. Tim Bakoson, 070-37-69-1379. Tim Bakoson, 070-37-69-1379. Stay safe. Keep learning.